there because Kraken Slayer is getting a lot of hate from the Master Yi community as of lately, and I feel like it's a little bit unfair. First of all, is Kraken good or not? I think it's okay. Like, it's not like the greatest item in the world, but I think that it definitely serves its purpose, and people are really writing it off super early. And the reason why, primarily, is a lot of people right now think that rushing Rage Knife into a Bladed Rune King is the play. Now listen, I'm not saying that's not the play. All I'm saying is that in two weeks from now, you guys aren't going to be doing that anymore, okay? Rage Knife is very unique compared to Noon Quiver. One of the things that makes Kraken such a good item is the fact that it has Noon Quiver, okay? Let me explain why. So if I open up the shop here, we look at Noon Quiver. It's 1,300 gold, 30 AD, 15% attack speed, and 20 physical damage to minions and monsters. That's insane. Like, it's really good for your clear speed, which is really important. And by the way, I'm not going to play like 100% this game because I'm trying to explain how this works. And Rage Knife. So the reason why Rage Knife is getting so much love right now is because Rage Knife is actually pretty similar to the Noon Quiver. So Rage Knife gives 20 magic damage on hit instead of physical, and it applies to champions during ganks, right? Noon Quiver only applies to, to jungle monsters. So the thing is, is that... The Rage Knife is actually not as cost efficient as the Noon Quiver, and you're missing a lot of AD, right? You get a lot of attack speed, but you're missing a lot of AD. So a, I actually looked it up, and a Rage Knife is less than 100% cost efficient. That means that the total cost of the stats don't pay for themselves until you begin stacking the item. And then, once you stack the item, you get it all the way up to 120% cost efficiency, which isn't bad, but Noon Quiver pays for itself right out the gate with absolutely no stacks at all and it's 145 percent cost efficient if you're hitting minions okay and if you're not hitting minions i think it's down to like 110 percent or something like that so it's still it's still pretty good um it's not as good as rage knife at hitting champions if you fully stack it but it's it's rough okay so with that out of the way yes rage knife isn't that bad to rush but noon quiver in my opinion is still better and now the reason why people are not rushing noon quiver is because they believe that Blade Ring King is better than Kraken. Yes, I agree that Blade Ring King is better than Kraken. Like, I'm, I'm not denying that. Where is this dude going? Like, I want to go on this dive here, but, like, this this guy is just running up the Lee Center or something. I, I don't know. So I know what you're thinking right now. It's like, Calcep, you're literally telling us the thing that we're already knowing, that, you know, Blade Ring King is better than Kraken. Yes, yes, it is. But Kraken has some very good usages, and I believe that anytime you back with 1,300 gold, you should buy a Noon Quiver. Okay, look at my gold. I'm going to back, I'm going to buy a Noon Quiver, and I'm going to show you why. Especially with the buy like this. Boom, we grab this, and we grab this. Honestly, the early clear is so important, and having a Noon Quiver for that clear is so very good. And if you're going Rage Knife, the issue with the Rage Knife, I don't think Rage Knife is a bad rush item if you're going into Gunju's Rage Blade, right? But the thing is, is most people sit on the Rage Knife and they go for the Blade of Rune King. That's 1,200 gold that isn't going into your power spike, which is just, it just really slows down your tempo a lot. And, and listen, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it ain't for me, okay? You can roll with that. You can roll with Rage Knife, Blade of Rune King. But in my opinion, it just slows you down too much. And I have been trying it. I have been trying to go without Kraken because of the lack of Noon Quiver. I've been trying. And honestly, guys, I can't. I just, I can't, why, why zero AFK? Hmm. Anyway, I can't do it. Like, it's just so important. It is so important to go for this thing. And Kraken is actually getting some changes next patch that'll make it better uh, for people that are lower than 100 armor and a little bit worse for people that are higher than 100 armor. And it also works really well on jungle camps as well. So Kraken is going to be even better against jungle camps next patch. Of course, you know, Noon Quiver is what you're using for the majority of your early clear. But, you know, that's there's still merit to that. Um, yeah, I mean, Lulu. Okay, Ziri's finally back. I'm going to grab this here. Now, there are some things about the Kraken that you guys should know. First of all, it is bugged with Rage Blade at the time of making this video. However, I believe within a week of this video or whatever, it'll be fixed. So people that are finding this video later... It'll be done, right? You'll, you'll be good. You can build it with Rage Blade. It's also now an on hit instead of an on attack, so it does work with Rage Blade, which is really nice. I'm going to come down onto this. I don't care if it's warded. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. My Lulu is scared, though. Hmm. Come on. Come bubble me again, bro. I'll take you out. All right, so we're going to grab this into this. Okay. Now, Kraken... 
Oh, they fixed the interaction already on PBE. Okay, so it'll be next patch. It'll be out. So Kraken also works really, really well with Navari because Navari, I've been running Navari a lot, which honestly, I think it's really good. You're going to be seeing more videos on Navari here. This item synergizes really well with crit. You get more damage, right? And also the, uh, you know, you get, you just keep hitting people over and over and over and over again with Kraken. Dude, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just want you guys to know that in my opinion, Kraken is still pretty good on Yi. <laughs> Blade of Rune King is better, okay? If, if you have a full Blade of the Rune King, it's better than Kraken, of course. Kraken's even cheaper. Kraken's 300 cheaper, right? But, bro, I cannot, I cannot get level six. I was trying so hard to get level six. Blade of Rune King is, of course, better than Kraken if you can afford it. But Kraken is just better for farming early, which means that it actually can potentially, in some situations, be better. Just because you're getting more gold, which then can get you a Blade of Rune King more quickly and get you more power spikes. And also, the Kraken power spike is very fast as well. I just, I just want you guys to know, deep in my heart here, I actually do legitimately still think Kraken's good. And within a few weeks, you guys will be building Kraken in your Gunju's Rageway builds and your Navari builds. Now, with this said, let me let me get something out of the way here. Okay, that guy smited way too early. He thought he had a 900 damage swing. Let me get this out of the way here. If I can straight afford a Blade of the Rune King, I will buy a Blade of Rune King over a Kraken every time. Okay, and then sometimes, and I will not build a Kraken later on. I'll probably build a Witsend or something, okay? My builds are constantly changing as I learn more about the items. And of course, I'm going to be giving you guys more and more guides. But today's not a guide. It's just like a discussion about why I think Kraken's so good. And I am going to be running, uh, I'm going to be running Navari in this game here. I do, like, so don't get me wrong. I know the Blade Ring King's better. It's just, you know, go ahead, jump me. I ain't scared. Look at me. Look at the swag. Look at this confidence. Look at this confidence, brother. Where is he? Oh, he's over here. Okay. Let's go get him. He has no dashy dash. Oh, he went invis. Oh, he flashed. Hmm. I'm glad, uh, glad we could see that. Uh, I'll go ahead and ping that for a collie. I'm going to come down and around here. Man, it's so cheap, too. Man, I'm telling you guys, like... Kraken is love, boys. Kraken is love. Dude, how do you see me? How long is that vision going to be there? Jesus. Let's go get my uber clear, guys. Okay, so let me get this straight. I burn, I burn that flash, and then you just turn around and you die to him, and you still have your flash up. Best teammates ever. They're changing Navari from 20 to 15 ability hate. Yeah, I saw that. Navari is going to be even better on you, in my opinion. It'll be really, really good. Like, dude, I'm telling you guys, Kraken Navari, mm, it's mint. You're going to want it. You're going to love it. I'm telling you, if you guys have been opting out of Kraken for the Rage Knife, trust me, try Kraken again. You will you will like it. It's, it's actually really good. It ramps up really nicely, okay? Also... If you rush Rage Knife, I really, I do really recommend that you like rush a Rage Blade, but, you know, I know there's some other guides out there that are telling you to get Blade and Ranking. I mean, you do you, you do you, but uh, definitely try rushing a, uh, a Rage Blade if you are getting the Rage Knife over the Noon Quiver. Because, like, look how easy my clear is. Like, the moment you get a, a Noon Quiver, you can do anything in the jungle. You're good. Like, you don't need to back. Like, that's the thing about a Noon Quiver. Like, I can sit here on 2k gold, and I don't need to back. But if I have like a recurve bow and a dagger or something, like you, you feel like you have to back. Hmm. I want to go for this. What are the chances that I get caught here, guys? Uh, you know what? I'm going to early smite this. Right? Like I could do anything I want in the jungle when I have a noon quiver. Though Rage Knife is pretty similar too. I actually honestly feel like Rage Knife is pretty good in the jungle as well. Okay, Garen. You're, you're actually making this worse for me, bro. You're making this worse for me. All right, let's go ahead and back. Now we're going to buy our Kraken, our Daddy Kraken. On, just remember, it doesn't build out a pickaxe anymore, guys. And so next up, we're also going to get the Navari. I'm going to show you guys this build here, which, trust me, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of this build on my YouTube vids. Oh, Navari is... Yeah, I'm going to go top. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to baited. Is this Jin? Is this guy talking right now? I'm going to bait you back in the bronze, buddy. Get... Oh, shoot. Wait, I can't type in all chat. <clears throat> is the Awkward. Enemy. 
my team's probably like, what are you, what are you doing, bud? Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it, okay? What in the world, bro? What in the world are you doing, Zach? Wait, you think you can clear this whole way, bro? We got a rift. Bro, yeah, you better run. Yo, this is mine. All right, so check out this crack in here. Look at that, 107 damage, 160 damage. Look at it now, 214 damage. Look how much damage this thing's doing. Now, make sure that if you're like farming with it in the jungle, that you actually use it kind of effectively. So what you want to do is hit the little camp, big camp. Little camp, big camp. Little camp, big camp. Little camp, big camp. And that way you're always applying the big stack to the big camp, right? So that's something to keep in mind. I know, I know, Kraken kind of, it kind of hurts your brains a little bit. It's too much stinking for Master E mains. We just want to right click and I get you, I get you. I'm gonna keep farming though. My team's uh, my team's on a mission to feed. I'm on a mission to carry. I just gotta get this here. And uh, yeah, so even with Rageblade, I think that Kraken's gonna be good since it does synergize with Rageblade now as well. So we'll be seeing some really cool uh, Kraken builds with uh, Rageblade as well. Man, just I'm telling you guys, give it a shot. If you haven't played with Kraken, give it a shot. It's really really good. The clear, the best part is the clear. It just it just blows Blade and Rune King out of the water. It just really does. It's just so much, so much nicer. Um, who is that? Is that Lee Sin? Oh yeah, interesting skin, bro. Um, yeah, my team's just—you know—I'm not even gonna—I'm not even gonna interrupt them, guys. I'm just gonna let them keep doing their thing. Is this a big wave? Ooh, this is a beautiful wave. Now you may be wondering, Calcep, why are you not using your Kraken to do big damage to the big camp? Well, you gotta understand—I'm too lazy. And you probably will be too, let's be honest here. All right, there you go, Akali. Enjoy, enjoy. I've got to go buy here real soon. All right, okay. So I'm glad that we got that talk out of the way. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Kraken. And I'm going to show you guys how Kraken synergizes uh, with the other build. Especially if you're running a Navari build, which in my opinion is hella fun. You're going to want to grab yourself a Zerker Greaves as well. So I'm kind of down for that. I don't think they saw me walk up here. Thank you. I like how they just like threw all their alties out. They're just like, yeah, man, she's ganking. Let's go. This is going to get me my 15 minute pet here. 2,700 on this. I'll actually have enough after I kill this. All right. Um, chat, you may ask me questions about Kraken so I can answer them for YouTube. On YouTube, what is the chroma? The chroma is white and green and red. Those are two different ones I use. White green is one chroma and then red is its own chroma. <clears throat> All right, any other questions about like Kraken preferred? I mean, I'll answer any question about ye, but preferably about Kraken. What is a Kraken bug? So the Kraken bug is like right now, Kraken hits every three autos. When you use the Gunsu's Rage Blade, it hits every two autos. But when you use it, it'll go two auto, two auto, five autos. Like, God knows why. So it just, uh, it's significantly slower. Is Kraken better when you can build AP with it? Yeah, so Kraken's actually getting an AP patch, an AP buff next patch. Um, I still wouldn't build AP on ye, but. Yeah, definitely. It's getting, it's getting a nice little buff next patch here. Bonk. Bonk. I mean, this Kali will be here in time. I gotta go buy it. They're gonna get ganked. Mm, okay, maybe not. Yeah, I will now take your questions. Why am I talking so much about crackheads? Uh, no, Kraken. Kraken? Kraken. Okay. I have a question. Are you cracking these nuts? Okay. Uh, okay. Is it a nerf or a buff, the next patch? So actually, the next patch, Kraken, is kind of a net buff, especially against people under 100 armor. Um, Freak did some math on it. Freak has a video where he did math on it. I'm coming. So yeah, if it's over 100 armor, it's a nerf. If it's under 100 armor, it's a buff. Did you miss it? 
But you got to remember it's a buff when you're farming camps anyway, like right here. It would be a buff against these camps, which is nice. So the buff is pretty significant. You get like an extra like 70 damage or something like that. I'm going to go for this. Hey, buddy. Wait, did you just throw me into your tower? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's right behind me. Oh, no. Okay, you got it, man, guys. That was that was quite a that was quite a run there. We did that was that was quite a run against that Zach. Okay, so now, guys, what do you get? So I'm actually I'm gonna make this a little fun for you guys, and this actually this build actually works really well. I've uh, used it a lot. You go for the Zeo into the Phantom Dancer, in my opinion. If you play against anything that's close to tanky, you'll rethink your crack and purchase. I mean, sure, if you're against really tanky people, the Kraken is not as good as Blade and Ring King. Oh my God. Okay, somebody just DC'd. Nice. Right? Like, Blade and Ring King's obviously better. But, like, the thing is, is, like, Kraken is still better at clearing early, which just gives you so much. Right? The early clear is worth a lot. Like, yeah, sure, you do less damage to tanks, but you get more gold, which gives you more items, which gives you more damage to tanks. Right? And it's, and it's uh, pretty reasonable. It's pretty reasonable damage in general. Okay, I think I saw Zach top. Okay, they are sweeping this. Okay, I want to go down for this one here. Yeah, the components are better. The clear is better, which can lead to getting more gold. And it's also much cheaper than Blade Ranking. So it's 300 gold cheaper. You kill minions faster. You can see how it gives you tempo. But yes, the item itself, not as good, of course. But I usually like to get them both. But if I ever, if I start with Blade of Rune King, I very rarely go into Kraken. Right? Oh. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? Like, you see the damage with this Kraken Navari here? Dude, it's insane. It's it's actually, it's not bad at all. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. But I am kind of ahead, so. But true. But that's the thing. It's like, that's the thing about Kraken. It's like, you could be like, well, Kyle's up. You're ahead. Well, that's the point. That's what Kraken does. It gets you ahead. A true master. Right? That's what I'm trying to do with my Kraken is I'm trying to get ahead. You're so, yeah, like I would probably be more ahead most of the time running Kraken and Blade of Ranking. Because the stats on Kraken are still really good and the ramp up is good in itself here. Hey, champ with 8-1, probably one shots. True. But again, that's where the Kraken comes in. The Kraken lets me get 8-1. Should I still get Rageblade third item? Uh, yeah, you can run Rageblade as a, as a second item. Of course, you can't run Rageblade with your Kra with your Navari. So that's kind of out of the question here. Do I have enough? Mm. I actually have a plan here. So this build is actually very, very good at soloing Baron, even without Blade and Ring King. You can easily solo Baron here. I'll go ahead and show you guys how. What am I banning when I pick Master Chief? Dude, you guys keep thinking I'm banning Ramus. Like, what is with you guys and Ramus? Is Ramus really that hard for you guys? He's really, he's really, really not a hard one to deal with. I usually ban Cassante and Rakon. Like, the thing that'll make Ramus much easier for you guys is you just gotta make sure. Just make sure that you get ahead. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of silly, but if you get ahead, he can't deal with you. Dude, he won't even realize I'm going Baron. I just baited him. Like, a Ramus that's an item over you will always beat you, right? So just don't let him get an item over you. Pretty simple. <laughs> So you can see we're doing Baron with absolutely zero lifesteal. And it just requires you to be good with your meditates. That's it. You just got to meditate block and auto at the same time. And if you can't, you just don't do it, right? Yeah, you get Perma E as well. That's another big thing about Navari. This isn't a video about Navari, but Navari makes it very easy to do objectives. I mean, is he not going to go top? I was going to give him top, but you know. Uh, now I definitely want to get Blade of Ring King. The thing is, it's even running Navare. 
Blade and Ring King is really nice. Like, I feel like between the Phantom Dancer and the Blade and Ring King, you get whichever one you prefer. Um, I typically, I typically prefer Blade and Ring King, but it's up to you. I just decided to run uh, Phantom Dancer to show that it works. Like sometimes Phantom Dancer is fun. I, I would only get Phantom Dancer as a third item in this build, but we we have an insane amount of crit, so actually my Navari does a lot more damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man, that burn from Zach. Okay, dude, that was that was. I tried to kill the action, but for some reason I couldn't get to him. My bad, my bad. He says, "Okay, you're forgiven." All right, so we're gonna work on uh, the Blade of Ring King now. Can you repeat the meditate thing when doing Baron? So when you use your meditate, it resets your auto attack, right? So you get an extra auto. And also, when you hold your meditate for 0.5 seconds, when you first flick your meditate for the first 0.5 seconds, you take reduced damage. So when you're hitting Baron, he hits you, you meditate to block the damage, and you reset your auto attack at the same time, right? So it makes it so basically you get one extra auto on Baron, and he gets one less auto on you. Hmm. Okay, we did get that one dragon. I mean, dude, I'm zooming. I got 9 out of 18 kills. Who did I give that shutdown to? Oh, the Zach. Zach's no bueno. What I I prefer to build against two tanks. I mean, I'd probably go Rage Blade if it was like a three tank game. Two tank game, you can really go whatever you want. Uh, like, either, you need either, if you're going to play against tanks, you need either Nabari or you need Rage Blade. You need one of those two because Navari gives you infinite ease, which is great. Okay, my my laners are playing kind of aggressively. Ugh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know. He says my bad and then he rushes in the death. Oh, I got his ghost. Alright, well, I have no ulti for that. Also, the cooldown on this item is so nice, but they're actually going to be nerfing the cooldown and buffing attack instead. Which is kind of sad, but I think Navari will still be good. Look at that crit, though. Doesn't that feel nice? Both my deaths are to Zack, of course, of course. Uh, my team really wants to lose, I feel. It's going to be a hard carry. Very hard carry this game. I, will show you the path. I could probably sneak around this. Assuming there's no wards there. Well, there was a ward there. I'm just going to sweep it. I don't know, man. I feel like every time I see this Lee Sin, he just like instantly kicks me. He doesn't even like, he doesn't engage in, in conversation. He just, he... Jesus, bro. <laughs> That's a problem when he gets first hit on you like that. Bro, I was like, I wanted to go up here and help these. What is this? Can we just 5v5? Yes, sir. Is he running Hallbreaker? No, he's not. I need to finish Lady Rune King to get more damage here. Oh my god, Jerry's gonna die. I'm not always there. I knew Lulu would try to throw this blame on me here. Hey, Zeri, Zeri's trying. You gotta give her credit. Oh, she got him. No, she didn't. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, they got him. Okay, let's push. Let's push. Did she get all three? Let's push. All right, you know what? I will, I will take just Lulu. Honestly, just Lulu is enough. They got three dead. That was thick. Holy crap. 
Lulu OP. <laughs> Why is Zach allowed to do 2,000 damage as a tank? Like, does he have a single... Like, dude, he has one AP item. Like, why? Like, why? Why is that champion like this? Why is he like that? Dude, I hate Zach. Like, he is, like, one of the largest E counters out there, man. Zach Rackon, I still think Asante is broken. Why would you blow my blast plant? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Hmm. Some of that magic damage is Thorn Mail. That's true. 428 of that is Thorn Mail. Ouch. Yeah, we're gonna need some uh, penetration. See, that's where Gunju's comes in handy is against Thorn Mail. All right, just let it go. Let it go. We fight mid. They have to push. Like, we need MR and some other goodies. Where's the action at? Oh, he's down there. All right. Believe, guys. Honestly, Lord Dominates would be kind of nice, too. Uh, I'm not even going to get the extra tenacity. They don't have any stuns, really. Like, Zack is just completely uncounterable by tenacity, so. Bro, what am I watching? You know you had that kind of I, dude, I, like, I can't see him because he literally flashed and then slain one invis. Okay, why is Akali dead? I already checked that. I don't have ult. No ult in 3v5. I mean, he went in Viz after he flashed. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing I can do here. I have no ulti. Um, okay. Okay, Zach has no ulti. This actually can work. Okay, never mind. Please get me out of range. Oh, there goes my shutdown, bro. Like, come on. Okay, so somehow my team worked that one down. But yeah, you can see how hard it is to deal with Zach when there's a, like, without Blade in the Ring King, right? It's. I'm not sure what the heck that flash was. Was that Ziri? Yeah, I might have to agree with Lulu on this one. <laughs> the Ziri's kind of trolling. Wait, I have Blade in the Ring King. For Christ's sake, bro. For Christ's sake. I think we definitely... Dude, they have no Zack. Like, once Zack's up, we're out. But no Zack, we're good. Yeah, we need like a Lord Dominix and a Wits or something. Where is he teleporting to? I have no idea where he teleported to. Well, okay. Found him. Okay, well, there is a very big minion wave. Oh, well, there goes our split pusher. Oh, no, he's still going. Your 
<laughs> what is this Lulu talking, bro? Like, what does he want me to do? How can I defend? Like, I literally cannot defend, right? Like, they will back off. It is plenty of time. Yeah, why didn't he push top? Why is he killing minions? I, I'm going to have to agree. This Garen is kind of brain dead. You know what? Maybe Lulu isn't talking about me. Hopi Copium? Oh, I did get top. Let's go. I might be able to catch something here. If I get a little frisky. I'm actually getting really tired of that. Like <laughs> it's uh it's kinda it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it is uh it's it's getting really old. It's just like it's just Lisa and kick, 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 kick. I'm gonna for my last item I'm definitely gonna get the last whisper item. Last whisper item. And actually, I do think the Kraken's an item that you can afford to sell when you're full build. Which is nice, you know? I don't have a Kali. At least I can kick him again. Okay, no throw. No throw. Just do BR. One go home. That's BR. Mm -hmm. Nice. Progress. We did lose tower. I mean, th really, honestly, it comes down to do we want to have a bunch of damage or do we want to have, like, HP? Dude, honestly, a Titanic Hydra would be kind of fun. Gives me a lot of HP. Gives a lot of HP. I do kind of like that idea. Or get a Guardian Angel. Uh, I got to decide what I want to buy. I want to get this crab. Alright, I don't know what I want to buy yet. Um, I got 3,000 gold. It's Lord Dominic's or GA. I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. It's got to be GA. Because if I die, we lose. So, Okay, is there a reason that we're up there? Wait for... Wait for us. We take Bar drag. Okay. Dude, honestly, wasting that ulti on Garen there. <laughs> That's how he thanks my carry. <laughs> Honestly, dude. <laughs> Honestly, bro. That's how he thinks my carry, bro. Holy crap. Oh. I don't know. I feel like I want to wait for a Penta. Mm -hmm. Since I didn't get one yet. <laughs> Dude, my team freaking out. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I am securing. I'm securing the inhibs. And that right there, guys, is Kraken. As you can see, that damage popped off. It's not bad at all. Give Kraken a shot, guys. Seriously, give it a shot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.